I have made it especially for the kid for this story video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please press the bell icon for the new video notification. I'm waiting for your lovely comment. When they arrived at Mark's house, the police were there with the treasure box. As Sally entered, the captain introduced himself and said, Sally, this is yours. Your parents need to sign some papers but the box and its contents are yours. Sally, Mark, and Jane shrieked with joy and danced around the room. Then Sally said, what is the bad news? The captain smiled and said, the treasure is worth more money than you can imagine and with your newfound wealth comes great responsibility. Sally didn't quite understand what the captain was talking about and right now it really didn't matter. Mark asked, are you going to share? Of course, Sally said. If you and James didn't help me I might still be there. Several days later Sally asked everyone over to her house. I have decided what to do with the money from the treasure after it is sold, she said. I'm giving one-sixth to our mom and dad, one-sixth to Mark's mom and dad, one-sixth to Mark, one-sixth to James, and one-sixth for me. There is an extra one-sixth, Mark proudly stated. He loved math and was right on top of Sally's calculations. No there's not, Sally said. Is too, James said. Is not, Sally said in an angered voice. Just as Mark was going to say, they are at it again, Sally said. This is why there isn't an extra one-sixth. I'm giving it to the local charity, so it can be given to those less fortunate and in need. Her mother and father said it was a caring and responsible thing to do. They were very proud of her and knew that she understood what the captain meant when he had turned the treasure over to her just days before. I have made it especially for the kid for this story video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please press the bell icon for the new video notification. I'm waiting for your lovely comment.